Hello ladies and gentlemen and today we are going to be reviewing a figure and I've loved this figure for a long time and um, I'm going to pan upwards and you'll see who it is. Ba bum bum ba bum 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 So yeah, uh, hello everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be reviewing this figure. So, let's just start off by saying that the painting and the sculpting on this figure is amazing. You see here, he is so, so good. You can see every single precise detail in his face. Look at that. Actually, beautiful detail here. Holes in his neck. They even went to the bother, they didn't have to do this, of making the little bit with the seed. The C, uh, CPU chip comes in. By the way, I shouldn't watch Terminator 2. I'm very young. Doesn't matter. Arnie's my hero. Moving on to the lower body. You've got... This, so, this jacket is made out of this weird flexible plastic, which is a really nice feature. You've got all this little gun things. I like the way, if you can see here, that they act um that they bothered to have one of the little things with no ammo in it so it shows that he's already used one on his arm here you've got this beautiful beautiful muscle skin delicious and um on this other arm you have a metal hand which is not accurate to the movie i really don't know what's going on here the metal hand is some beautiful 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 sculpting Every single detail is immaculate. Right ending at a metal claw. And um, the metal claw is very nice. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Moving on to the very lower half of the body. His uh, sort of crutch is um, basically the material on the crutch is made out of, once again, that sort of flexible plastic on the jacket. So when you push these foot up, it will allow it take it off and then the plastic will remain in its shape. You can see all these little crinkles which they did detail to. It's beautiful. Then the shoes look just fine. Nothing really beneath the shoes. So yeah, actually, so, so the painting and sculpting, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, everything is cool. But do you know how it can get better? Accessories. So I will say that this is an accessory because it came packaged separately. This is the claw which goes on this arm here. If you can see it here, it opens up like that. It can open about this big. Then you can close it up again like that. And the thing is, is that so, because the claw is like, it's a bit like, yeah, it functions and everything. But what you want to do is you want to try and get both things symmetrical. And then the claw looks fine, so you can just keep it in that position. But then, yeah. So that's an accessory. Then you have this awesome phased plasma rifle i'm not going to take this out of his hand because it's a pain to get back in there but once you got it in there's no real need to take it out this hand this little finger needs to sort of go in uh in the trigger here because not i i once did it and the trigger finger was just underneath but you really want it to stick there and that's good so yeah obviously this figure can't be perfect there are a few problems which i will go through just now Problem number one, paint dripping. Now, I will, I love to play with this flicker. If you have seen my stop motions recently, you'll know I've been using him. But he does sadly have paint dripping problems. Let me focus in. If you note it, oh God. Okay, for some reason it won't focus in. There we go. You see that? So you see there's a little hole on his nose there. That is paint chipping, sadly. And although it's not the biggest issue, it is a bit annoying. But, yeah, it's like because most of this is painted. So you just have to be wary of that when playing with issue them. Issue number two. This is probably the saddest issue for me is the claw hand. So it's really good. But... Um, this thing is a bit too loose on there. You can plug it in, but then shake it a bit. Hello? Come on! And then eventually it will just... Um... 
look, you can see it's already loose, and then eventually it will just fall out. It's a bit too loose. You can plug it in, and it will. It's just, it's just a bit annoying that it sort of comes out a bit, and it's just a bit too loose. I'm sure you could, I don't know, put blue tack in here, and then put it in. I don't know, sandpaper or something. I don't know, but for now, yeah, that's the only two real major issues. The final issue is literally that when you first get it, you've got to be um don't be careful because when i first got it this joint here it's really really tight but then and i was scared i was going to break it but then but don't be afraid it can move upwards you just have to be it's quite really tight joint though so you just have to don't be afraid of breaking it just have to pull it up in the foot when you first get it so yeah okay so now we're going to get into some posability so firstly the, i don't know this thing wobbles around it's quite fine head it can move look up that far and look down that far no it's i'm not entirely sure it's on a ball joint but it can only look that far side and that far side so the head is probably the worst posability bit so oh yeah but yeah uh moving on to the left metallic big arm so you've got this, so there's a little swivel here that just fell out. Um, just put that in. You've got a really tight joint here, and then it can also move for some reason all the way back. Not all the way back, just that far. Uh, then you've got all the way up. <coughs> Sorry, this joint's so tight. And then the claw articulation, open, open, close, close. So that's all for this arm. This arm, you've got moving outwards. You've got a little swivel here. Move upwards there. Very tight joints. And then a little wrist swivel here. Here, then you've got a 360 degrees wrist swivel. You can do like that, but yep. You've got, you can kick forward that far. I could kick and forward more, but I don't want to. So that's just sort of spread that way. Then you've got a uh, sort of knee bend here. You've got some feet are, are on ball joints, which means a little bit of an ankle pivot. Same on the other foot, apart from the fact that this knee bend is like, it's just, it's, I don't know. Um, as I said, tight joints. I'm scared it's going to break, so I'm not going to move that, but I'm fairly sure it will be able to. Another knee bend, and the finally... A beautiful spread. An ish beautiful spread is okay. So yeah, that is the posability on this marvellous, marvellous figurine. Now for some size comparison. Here is Optimus Prime, the Autobot leader himself. Let's see how that scales. Up next then. then you've got Transformers Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. So yeah, that scales next to there he is next to um, Transformers Age of Extinction Stinger. And last but certainly not least, here is him. Sorry, give me a moment guys. There we go. Here is him next to one of my other Unboxing reviews, Revenge of the Fallen, Leader Class, Mega, Tron, Caesar, Betula. So normally if this was a Transformer, at this point I would transform him, but there we go, that is it. Uh, now all I'm going to say is where you should probably buy it from, and this is my recommendation for I bought it from Amazon. So yeah, it's a really cool figure. I would definitely recommend it to any Arnold fans whatsoever, any Terminator fans whatsoever. It's literally, it's a 31 to £30 figure. Really cheap, really good, really, really high quality. Definitely recommend buying it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all later.